Lucy, sweetie. Lucy, you're just having a bad dream. Go back to sleep, okay? Sleep. Ready? He didn't give me time to think. Put my shoes on. Too big, I keep falling over. It's like on TV. It's all about the fibres and DNA. You wear my stuff, they never know you were there. Yeah, well, what if they do? What if I get caught? That won't happen if you do what I say. No, I can't, I can't, I can't do this. I, I want to go back. You can't go back now. How much do you love me? You can show me today. told the police that she lurked in a dark corner of our garage, wearing the balaclava, Joseph's shoes, and a pair of white gardening gloves. She was stronger than me, but I found a way to face her. I wanted to know who was doing this to me. I was not surprised when I saw that face. Joseph was charged for my attempted murder, but the police had no witnesses to support Tanya Herman's claim that he drove her to our garage to attack me that day. For a substantial bail, Joseph was allowed to await his trial at home. Tanya Herman is a psycho. It was over between us. Huh? I told her at Christmas. I chose Maria. Oh no, but she, she, couldn't, she couldn't stand it. Bro, you gotta chill out. You haven't slept for days. Chill out? Yeah. Would you chill out if your wife was lying in a coma in a hospital somewhere, huh? And some mad woman was running around telling the cops that it was your idea to kill her? You tell the truth, you're gonna be fine. What planet are you on? I'm not gonna tell them anything. Whatever I say, they will twist it to make it fit her story. She told them that I went and picked her up and drove her to our garage so she could attack Maria. What? How do you think she got there? I don't know. She, 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 she drove, she walked. She's, she's a triathlete, for God's sake. She might have run. She's been to the house. She knows the layout of the garage. It all would have been so easy for her. And now that she's been caught, she points the finger at me. I guess she figures they won't lock her up for so long, you know? And I'm the bad guy, and Tanya gets to play the victim. Joe told me to dump the car as far away from the house as possible, but he didn't say where. So, I wasn't really thinking, I just drove as fast as I could. That's when she heard me, gasping and gagging for air. I didn't know what to do. I thought it couldn't be her, I mean, she's dead, wasn't she? Thankfully, by the time I reached the gardens, the noises had stopped.
soon as I got Lucy to school, I called Joe. He didn't want to meet me, but I insisted. It's got ham in it. Is that a problem? You don't like ham all of a sudden? I'm just asking. Please, what put you in such a good mood? <sighs> what do you reckon? Have you ever been made to go strangle someone? Hang on. He did it for me. But I didn't have anything to do with it. What are you saying? Don't worry. I don't want to tell anyone. All I'm saying is you've got to be very careful not to get caught. That's all. Joseph had a different story. Just before Maria went missing, Tanya came to see me at work. Tan, hope that's okay. Is there a problem? Don't like ham all of a sudden? You have to stop turning up to my work like this. Right? I mean, yeah, I can't see you anymore. Maria and I are back together, okay, for good. I saw her online last night. What a laugh. Little Miss Catholic girl all dressed up like a big fat slut. Did you know she had more hits in three weeks than you've ever had? Yeah, well, it won't last. Neither will you two. No, Tans, it will, okay? We're sorting out our marriage. That's what matters to me right now. You have to get that through your head. You and I... I finished. Yeah, you can say whatever you like. You know as well as I do, cowboy. We're meant to be. Wedding dress is made. You belong to me. I'm your cowgirl, remember? She had this crazy look in her eye. You know, I... I, 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 I should have seen it coming, you know. Maybe I could have... After we met, he told me to burn everything, like it was all my responsibility. I rang him again on the way home, but he didn't answer my call. That's when I started to think I'd been set up. Tell me she's not wearing her wedding ring. She, she, she never took that wedding ring off. Then you took it. You think about it, she's, she's, she's insane. She'd see it as the perfect trophy. What about Maria's wedding ring? I've never seen it. What could have it have fallen off somehow? When you struggle? He took it. He went to the car, took the ring to frame me. He opened the car, took the ring and closed the boot on his dying wife. You don't know what he's capable of. I mean, he was sick of both of us. Our nagging, our pressuring. Even the fun stuff, he'd had enough. 